Months of controversy over the proposed sale of 60% of the Le Petit Theater to the Dickey Brennan Restaurant Group came down to a vote tonight, and supporters of that sale won. Opponents of the sale gathered with protest signs and candles across the street from Le Petit for a vigil. Many are so-called voucher members, people who have bought packages of theater tickets, but they are not full season ticket holders. Le Petit's board says the courts have ruled that only full season ticket holders are actual members of Le Petit and allowed to vote. The theater's longtime executive director, Sonny Bory, was among those opposed to the sale and not allowed to vote. He argued Le Petit could not survive as a theater if 60% of it becomes a restaurant. But actor Brian Batt, a member of Le Petit's board, said the sale will save the theater. The proposition from the Dickey Brennan organization will allow us to get rid of the debt, it will allow for a complete renovation of the theater, and have the theater end up with a million dollar endowment for the first time ever. To me, losing this building is like the French Opera House burning down again. It's like tearing down the St. Charles uh, Hotel. The vote to amend the bylaws to approve the sale of part of La Petite was approved on a vote of 74 to 58.